Welcome all. Uh, today we will be discussing a C++ program uh, to pop elements from the stack. For that, we will be writing a single line command. Let us write a C++ program to pop elements from the stack. So, to begin with, I will be including few header files. That is iostream.h and in addition to that, I will be using uh, one more header file called as conu.h and then I will be including the ctype.h and then I will be hash defining the size as 3, that is the max size as 3. And now uh, we'll begin with the class name, class followed by class name, and uh, within this, I will be having uh, the access specifiers called as a private, and then public. So within the private part, I'll be declaring an array of max size, and after that, I'll be declaring one more data member that is top. And within this public part, I'll be declaring. Declare, I mean, I'll be declaring uh, a constructor. So within this constructor, I'll be initializing the top is equal to minus one. That is, minus one is assigned to top. And uh, in addition to that, I'll be having few uh, member functions called as push within which I will be passing item as the argument and again I will be having one more member function called as print and then I will be having one more member function called as pop so these are the member functions uh, that is declared within the class called as stack now uh, let us write the code for uh, the member function push uh, void the return type of push is void so that I will write void first and then the class name followed by scope resolution operator and the member function name so within this I will be passing the argument to be pushed and here before pushing I need to check out for overflow condition whether the stack is uh, full or not so for that I will say top z equal to max minus of 1 if it is equal to max minus of 1 it means that the stack is already full so therefore I will display a statement C out within this I will say stack is full and then I will end this and introduce a semicolon I mean the black line over here and I will come back to the main program so if not if not the stack is full then I will increment the pointer that is stop and then I'll add this item over the top A of top so now uh, the code for push operation is finished now what we need to do is we need to write the code for member function called as print for that I'll write void stack and then I'll use the member function called as print within this if top is not equal to minus 1 so then the stack has elements to be displayed so therefore I will say C out so within this I will say stack contains so within this I will say stack contains and I will introduce a for loop over here Within this, I will be declaring int i is equal to 0 and i less than or equal to the top of the stack element, then i plus plus. So, within this, what I will do, I will use a cout statement to display a of i and here I will be using a set width of 4 and then I will press semicolon and I will say cout and I will introduce an adder line statement over here. If stack is not empty, then we will display all the elements by using this particular code. 
otherwise so then I need to display a error message saying C out so within this I'll say stack is M so and after that I'll close this and introduce an adder line and once that is complete uh, now I need to write the code for pop that is void stack and within this I'll say pop so within this pop element what I'll do I'll check the top pointer that is if uh, ELE or sorry uh, if top if top is equal to minus 1 then it means that it means that the stack element is empty so means to say I'll just display C out so within this I'll say stack is empty and after that I'll close this and I'll introduce an end line and then I'll return to the agent main program otherwise uh, you do have elements to be popped out so for that we are supposed to write the code I'll say int ELE is equal to a of top and after that I'll close this and within this I'll decrement the top pointer and then I'll display the message uh, saying that ELE that is the topmost element is successfully successfully popped and then I close this and introduce a black line and L and once this particular code is finished we will be begin, beginning with uh, the void main function so here what we are supposed to do is we will be declaring an object of stack and then we will be declaring two more uh, variables that is choice and then item and here while true condition so then what I need to do is we need to do right uh, we will be using a SV statement uh, to go on adding uh, pushing uh, the element into the stack and popping the element out of the stack so for that I will say C out so within this I will say 1 for push and again after that I will say end L and uh, here I need to include the double quotes over here and after that 2 for pop and once that is done uh, I'll introduce one more end L and then 3 uh, is for uh, print and then I'll close this and I'll introduce one more end L line and then after that uh, again the last one is uh, 4 for exit and after that I will close this and then I will introduce an end line statement over here. So now what I need to do is I need to display a message called as enter your choice. So after that I will close this and I need to read the uh, choice from the user. So after that I will use the switch statement of choice and within this I have to see for all the cases that is case 1 so if it is case 1 then we need to do a few activities and if it is case 2 then we need to do few other activities and if it is case 3 similarly few other activities and case 4 exit and default so these are the cases that we need to check so first let me uh, come to case 1 and I will say C out so within this I will say uh, enter the item and after that I will close this uh, here I need to introduce or I need to read the item I will read the item and then I will say object name dot push within brackets item and after that I will uh, come out of that case so similarly I need to write code for pop also so for that I will say yes dot pop and then I will use this pop member function and then I will uh, use break 
to come out of that case 2. Now I have to write code for case 3 and uh, within this so what we need to do is within this I'll be using calling the member function called as print and after that I'll be using uh, break statement over here so once that is done uh, now I have to write the code for uh, default so default uh, before that uh, there is also option uh, for the case 4 so case 4 here within this uh, I have to So here let me align all these things. Okay, so within this case four, I'll be saying C out. Uh, thank you. Visit again. So after that, I'll close this and then I'll be using the exit function in order to come out of the this particular loop. That is exit with some numerical value and come out. So now within this default statement, what I'll say, uh, if we press any other option apart from 1 to 4, then I'll say C out. So invalid choice. So invalid choice and after that I'll introduce end and line. So now the code is almost complete. So now I'll save this particular file, uh, push and then pop and press enter. Now in order to check out any uh, syntax errors I need to press F9. So here set width has a, has, should have a prototype and exit should have a prototype. So therefore what I need to do is I need to check out for that. So for that I will come over here I need to include two header files so that is hash include uh, one is process.h and then hash include io manip.h exit function is defined in process.h and asset width is defined in io manip.h now I'll save this particular file and then press F9 to check out any error is there right now we don't have any error so for that I'll press control F9 to run the program enter the choice one that is push item I'll push 12 and again I'll push the uh, item that again I'll give the choice as one so I'll push the element 34. So now I'll say choice is 3. As you can see that the stack contains 12 and 34. Now I need to pop an element. So therefore 2. And again I'll print 3. Now you can see that the stack contains only 1. Again I'll uh, use 1. And again I'll say 45. And again I'll say 1. And I'll say 67. And again I'll say 1 and then 78. You can see that the stack is full because the max size is 3. Now I need to pop all the elements that is 2, 2, 2 and again 2. If I press again 2 what happens you can see that the stack is empty. So now apart from 4 if I give any other value called as 5 it should give me invalid choice. Now I press 4 to come out of the program. When I say 4 and press enter, you can see that it come back, comes back to the main program. This is how we will write a C++ program to pop elements from the stack. Thank you.